Hi, Andrew. It's Dr. Buford. We're just getting started on the left knee. We're looking in the medial compartment here, and that instrument you see spinning is a shaver. Right now, we're not really shaving anything. We're just using the suction attached to it to help us flush out the knee. You can see some of the things moving. Your ACL tear is going to be over here to the right. We'll look at that in a minute. But right now, we want to look at this meniscus. We'll take a probe. And we'll just start having a look. We didn't see any significant meniscal tears on the MRI scan, but we always double check. I'm focusing right now, so there we go. So this looks good. We can look all the way back to the root, which is way over here. And as I hook that, both below and above right there, that feels pretty stable. I'm looking at it again. Okay, so I'm, I'm happy with that. We'll keep looking, but I don't think there's anything to do in this medial compartment. The articular surface above looks good. The tibial plateau looks pretty good. And so now as we slide over here, we're going to get our first look at this torn ACL. We confirmed it was torn before we started the arthroscopy, so we've already harvested. And uh, with our probe, we'll show you what a torn ACL looks like here. It's supposed to be right here. This isn't normal here, these little torn fibers. Okay, and it's been a it's been a minute, so the ACL kind of scars down. So at first glance, someone might think it's still there, but of course you have the benefit of your knee exam. Your knee was very loose. And then when we look in and see these torn fibers, we know that that's an ACL tear. See, look at that right there. Above that, this is part of the ligamentum. That's not the ACL, but this certainly was part of the ACL right there. So we're going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit and show you some more in a minute. Okay, so now this area looks a lot different, right? This is the notch. That ligament you see there, that's the posterior cruciate ligament running up towards the uh, medial aspect of the femoral condyle. The ACL used to be right here running up into the back, and so that's where the new graft is going to go. But that looks nice and open. We can put an 8 millimeter graft in there without too much trouble, I think. Okay, so this is the lateral compartment. This is the lateral meniscus. It looks pretty good. I don't really see any significant tearing, so I'm encouraged by that. The less we have to fix, the better. Sometimes the meniscus will tear back here a little bit. There's maybe a little bit of fraying right there, but that's nothing, nothing to worry about. Okay, and that looks pretty good. The articular surfaces look pretty good here as well. So we'll look at the patella next. Okay, so this is your kneecap, your patella at the top of the screen. It looks really good. So of all the knees where we have to reconstruct ligaments, this knee probably looks as good as you can and still need an ACL reconstruction because the articular surfaces look great. You can follow this all the way down the front of the knee. There's maybe a little bit of thinning right there, but that's really not bad at all. So I think we're ready to start measuring things and drilling some tunnels for the ACL. Okay, so we've got a guide wire in there. And we're just making a tunnel in the tibia here. This is going to be an 8 millimeter tunnel based on the size of the graft. Okay. There it is right there. And now we'll back that out. And now we're going to be losing a little bit of water, but we'll take our shaver while we're getting the rest of this organized here. And we'll go ahead and clean up the edges of the tunnel right here. We'll show you some more in a little bit. Let me just turn off the camera. Probe. Okay, so we've drilled our tunnels, and now we're just making some measurements so we know how to construct the graft. There's our ruler, and our ruler is hooked on the femoral cortex here. Take that. And as we pull back on it and have a look, there's 50, 48, 46, probably 44. Let's do it again. 50, 48, 46. Yeah, I'm going to call that 44 is the overall length of the femoral tunnel. 
Now I'm going to pull back and we'll get the edge of the ruler just at the opening of the tunnel here. There's the edge of the ruler. So we'll put that right at the opening, which is basically right there. And I need another metal ruler or something to measure this distance here. So if you have another metal ruler, that would be helpful. Okay, hold the camera. Hold the camera, hold the camera. Okay, so we've got the graft in position. We're gonna have a nice steady picture, two hands if you need to. You can see the bio brace on the outside of the graft. This is BioBrace right here. We haven't fixed it on the tibia yet. Just the endo button's been flipped. But I'm very happy with that. That's a very solid, I'm pulling real tight on the tibia, but it's not fixed yet. We're gonna use a screw. And there it is going up into the, uh, there it is going into the tunnel. So probably can't get a better shot of that. And so that looks great. We're going to go ahead and tension this, and then we're gonna put a interference screw in and then we're gonna get you back to the recovery room. So good luck to you now. I'm happy with the way that looks. As you straighten the knee, that all looks like it's gonna sit in there in the notch just perfect. So good luck to you now, bye-bye.